we are going to make a guitar neck out of hemp wood. Hemp wood can be purchased in kind of two flavors. The um, face sawn and kind of the rift sawn, which kind of looks like quarter sawn. The edges look like OSB. It's almost like particle board. They claim that it is 100 times stronger than oak. It's certainly heavy. I think it will make a great guitar neck, but we're about to find out. It is pretty much tone dead, so let's do a tone test. This is a piece of quarter saw mahogany. Let's do a tap tone test. Very bell-like, it actually rings out. Here is a leftover piece of the hemp wood. It's completely dead. A couple of shots here, what the end grain looks like when it's been cut with a miter saw. I think I used a 60 tooth blade on the miter. You can see a little bit of the tooling marks on it. This is the piece already dimensioned for my neck blank. So just to give you some context, this would be one of my blanks already set up. This is mahogany and rosewood. So eventually this is gonna look like this and we'll go through the process step by step. The locator pinholes were milled, and the really interesting thing is, I'll get some close shots, is the bottom of these pinholes are perfect, so the floor of the milling is outstanding. It's what I'd expect. The walls, however, there's so much, so much of that fiber there, it's really troubling. All right, so eventually, we want whatever the user touches to feel and look like this. This is where we're at. In the end, I'm not sure how important this is because I'm going to be epoxying the carbon fiber rods and I'll be installing the truss rod and then I'll be putting on the fretboard, which in this case is going to be Wenge. So the hemp wood is very brittle. So I've been just squeezing some very thin super glue in there just to kind of keep this stable, just to get it on the locator pin because this tiny bit of wood is just snapping just along this line, along the grain line there. Happened here, the other locator pin just snapped here. And I think it snapped here too. And I super glued that. So all this, is just snapping. This, as you can see, not even level. 
the whole point is just to get the locator pin in position. The locator pin and the frame is not holding the workpiece down. The neck itself is being held down by super glue and tape on the flat side of the headstock and on the flat side of the heel. That's just the normal process that I do. The pins are just there and the frame is just there to kind of locate it correctly for the two-sided milling. So since it's splitting along the grain here very easily, I was worried about this. So when this is milled down to the you know, 15 mil or so, these pieces here are going to be really brittle. So I just flooded this with very thin super glue. I mean, I just the whole surface, I just flooded it. The next step is going to be to radius the fretboard. And then put in the blind frets. Then we'll do a rough milling to hog out the top of the headstock. And then we'll do a final pass parallel finishing operation to make that transition from the fretboard to the headstock and it just does that gentle curve. issues with hemp wood is that it is quite brittle. When you have a piece this big, it's not an issue, right? Uh, you can't snap this in half. But when you start getting into thin pieces like this, you can. So just to demonstrate, I have the kind of cutoff here. So right there, this is your standard kind of neck blank. I think this is close to 19 mil, a little bit more. So I can take this and I can just snap it like that and I could keep doing that, so, like that, see? Um, so, very scary when I was CNCing this. This is where the locating pins were, and I could already see that this was becoming quite fragile, so I, I flooded both ends with super glue, and that helped stabilize it enough to get the proper heel going. And, of course, this is now bonded to the wenge board so it's not having that issue obviously and it won't. I put on a first layer of epoxy on the back all the way up to the heel all the way down stopping at the headstock and then I sanded back and there are a few low spots so there should be a few sparkly, shiny little low spots. And that's fine because those are the portions in between the fibers of the hemp where there were gaps or air or where the compression didn't really work at the time when this was created. So, of course, when I carve that back, it exposes all those gaps between the hemp fibers. So that first layer of epoxy essentially is just gap filling or grain filling for me. What we're gonna do is just reinforce the back, but we can't go too thick, right? Because then our tuners won't fit. So we need something thin and very rigid that'll help reinforce this. So what we're gonna use is epoxy and carbon fiber. So I picked up carbon fiber kit. We need to scratch this up a little bit. And the other thing that we need to do is plug these holes. I don't want to do a lot of cleanup. So we're going to plug these with 
modeling clay. applied a layer of resin on the headstock, placed the carbon fiber on very gently. I did not touch it or bend it or push it or pull it. You don't want that weave to come undone. It's so easy for it to just start to spread. I put some wax paper on top of it and put just a little bit of weight. I didn't want to put clamping pressure, so I just put a piece of wood on there. Came back in about two hours. So we're at like a tacky point for the resin. And then I applied a layer on top of the carbon fiber. So this right now is going to basically cure overnight after the third coat. That's when we'll start to sand down with all the grits. So we'll go all the way up to probably a thousand or 1200 and then we'll buff it out by hand. This material wasn't hard to work with just required a little bit extra care and a little bit extra love. As I mentioned earlier, along this fiber, when there are short fibers, the hemp wood is quite brittle. Along the longer fibers, it's fine. There's no worries there, but anytime there's short fibers in these sections here, it's going to be a really brittle wood. So you can see how gorgeous this hemp wood is. At first those edges are kind of weird, but now they're just brilliant. All those interesting swirls. Really pretty. I guess that is what you'd call the end grain. If you could call it that. There's the side of the neck heel. Also Stopping point. 
The next time we see this neck, it'll be fully fretted, leveled, crowned, and polished. In the next video, we'll see the CNC process for creating the nuts. We'll install this on a Fender Telecaster body, and we'll demo it. Right. See you next time.